Hey what's up guys in this video we will be diving into smart pi again and in specific we will be talking about smart cli so let me just open my terminal and i will show you how you guys can actually deploy any smart contract and compile it right uh, using your uh, right by using just by using your terminal you don't have to use this web ide so that's the thing that we're going to discuss so let's increase the font size here and we'll go to the code youtube and this directory all right so i have a demo contract here so you can see i let me just remove this directory called output as well so you can see i just have this file if i get it and you will see the contract you can see it's pretty simple contract it doesn't do anything you have the class contract and this is the storage here and you can see we have two demo entry points but they don't really do anything so you can see we're just doing this that we're just multiplying the number in the storage by two and three and then we have just a simple test it's not even testing we're just adding the contract to the scenario although we're not going to use the test because we're not going to test the contract we're just going to compile it so in order to compile it you need to write this line here so you can see at the end we have a line called sp dotted compilation target the first argument is actually going to be the name of the target and the other argument is actually going to be the contract object itself so this is what we have done right so in order to compile it all you have to do is just use this command so if i do compile so you can see you just specify the smart pirate sh and then compile and then the name of the contract and then a directory where it will uh, put the output so once you hit enter so we're getting error let's see line 17 in test uh, thrice is missing a self parameter okay let's fix it so okay we actually need to add self here right that's the issue so we will do self sorry self and in the same way I'm gonna do self here so it, it doesn't take any argument other than the self so yeah this is done and let's compile it again and you can see it is done so once it is compiled so if you go to the output directory here you will find this target called demo target which was actually the name of our target and if I ls here you can see these uh, files so in specific we want this file and this file so the tz extension represent that this code is actually converted into michelson so if i show you you can see this is actually the code in michelson so this is how you can do it and in the same sense we have a storage which is just the initial storage for our contract so if i show you this you will see that this is just the number right that we have entered while initializing the contract object in the add compilation target. So once we have compiled it, what you can do, let's go back and you can deploy it by using this command. So let's reverse search it. So we'll do originate contract. Awesome. It's a pretty big command, but let me explain you. So you do smart pi and then the originate contract and then provide the code. So hyphen f in code and then you provide the location uh, basically the path where this code is so you can see we have already explained this is the code and then you need to specify the initial storage for that we have already talked about this file called storage.tz right and then on which network you want to deploy so when, on which node right so in specific we're talking about this granite net so you can put it here if you want to deploy it on fluorescent you can just uh, replace the granite net to fluorescent and it would do the job so now let's hit enter and it will start deploying it you might be thinking which account will it use to deploy it so well for that it will use a faucet account but in case if you want to uh, use your own private key so you can use it by specifying the private key by hyphen hyphen private and provide your private key so but most of the time if you're deploying on the testnet it doesn't matter which account you're using so that's why it's it is just going to work pretty well so yeah another thing it's going to take up a while uh, so around 10 20 seconds so we'll have to wait so let's see and uh, in mail uh, and meanwhile let's open our browser so we can actually uh, check it whether it's there or not so let's see let's go to the better call dev home page mm. all right so once it is deployed we will get the address okay you can see it is deployed so now 
I can just copy it and I can paste it here and you will see this contract right so the cool thing here is if you go to the storage so you can see we have this storage which was the initial storage that was a number and you can see here we have our entry points right twice and thrice let's try it out so what I'm going to do here is just provide the address directory so we'll just execute it oh wait a second I just installed this so I don't have temple wallet but it will work right so you can use it so if I try to mimic the behavior I can show you if I just do tz1 dash buyer a random address and let's do simulate so we're getting an error they say failed on address tag so let me just pick an address Uh, let's put let's just pick a random address uh, I will just look for any token that I can find can I get the address of the originator from here let's see yep I can so I can just copy it all right so once I copy it I can go to the interact and I can put it here command V and I can sh simulate it and you can see that it was before 30 and after executing this uh, specific transaction it will be 30 so basically it is getting thrice so yeah this is how you can deploy a smart contract just by using the smart CLI and without leaving your terminal so you don't have to use the web ID bye yeah this is it for this video so bye